Oh, come on, no, this one, let's take a look at finding a limit that involves a piecewise defined function, just like this one here. So here, let's answer this basic question, okay? Here's the question. Find the limit as x approaches negative 1. That's our big idea here, okay? So how can we go about that? Let me make that bigger so it looks better. There we are. So what we could do as a first stage is set up a basic limit statement. So the limit say as x approaches negative 1. And let's first do this from the left. So that means up there we put a little negative. And then here we don't know what the function is, so we're just going to call it f of x. I want to know the value of the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left. So let's look at the graph very carefully, okay? Let's draw some details on the graph that would be you know, hopefully instructive. So what this means is that x is going to come towards negative 1 from this direction, from the left side. That means that the points on the graph would travel along this direction towards the hole, you see? Which means that the y-coordinates, which is what we we're really looking for, would travel towards 3 from above. But the point is they're going towards 3 in terms of the y-coordinates. So what that allows us to say over here is that the value of this limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left of f of x is positive 3 for that reason. Let's do another one of these from another direction. Okay, let's do that one in red. So here, imagine that I want the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right side. So that's indicated by looking at a red arrow in the picture, okay? Then essentially the points will be kind of moving along the graph towards the hole. And the y-coordinate, which is really what the limit is, would be moving towards negative 1, like that, you see? So what I could say in terms of a limit is that the limit as x approaches negative 1, let's be careful, put a plus in there to indicate you're coming from the right side, of f of x, okay, negative 1. So that's that. Now what about the value of the function at negative 1 itself? Look carefully. So here below me you have a hole essentially at negative 1, okay? But above me on the other hand you have the solid dot at y equals positive 2. That solid dot represents the value of the function when negative 1 goes in. So what I could say over here as a consequence is that f of negative 1 is defined to be positive 2. So what is it telling us? It's telling us that we have two different limits with two different values. The value of the function is different from either limit. So essentially what I could conclude, and I think this is obviously obvious from the graph anyway, is that f is not a continuous function. That's the big conclusion here. Well, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it's been helpful. Please give a like and subscribe. I will see you in another video.